Mike and welcome back to Unbox Warehouse. Today, we're cooking some hot dogs, but not the way you probably cook hot dogs. You probably boil it like in a pot and then you like warm your buns in some kind of oven. No, no, you don't have to do that anymore. Now, they have an all-in-one device. It's a toaster for hot dogs. Look at this thing by nostalgia. Fits thicker hot dogs that plump. It plumps them. You're blowing up. Surprise. Okay, let's plump them up. It toasts two hot dogs and buns right here. Press down the lever to cook an adjustable cook time with stop function. Now I know all you lazy people out there probably cook your hot dogs in the microwave. Eh, you know those taste like crap. What super cool. Super retro. You see this thing? Read this before use. This unit has a heating element and during the first use, it may appear to smoke for a short period of time. This will stop and does not indicate a defect or hazard. So if this thing's smoking, don't send it back. It's retro. Everything used to smoke back in the day. I bet this sticker will smoke if we don't pull it off. You have a stop button and your timer switch. There's two compartments in here for your hot dog buns. And then, oh, it comes out. This little tray here to hold your hot dogs. Drop them. I guess you gotta have it turned on to get cooking. We're turning this into a cooking show. We'll go medium, three. Turn it on. And let's see. I feel the heat. I feel the temperature rising. Is that a song? I feel the temperature rising. Oh, you can smell it. Ooh, that dude, that's getting hot. Stop. Oh, let's try one out. How hard can this be? Split one of these dudes open. There you go. Oh, I wish I were an Oscar Mayer wiener. Oh, hey, you're still there. One, two hot dogs in the chute. And, uh-oh, the buns didn't go down. Okay, I had to help the buns down a little bit. Maybe the buns are too big. I've been told my buns are too big from time to time. How long do they cook? Here's a little tip for you right from the manual. All hot dogs and buns are not the same. Everybody's different. Therefore, you'll need to adjust the variable heat control accordingly. Hot dogs should have an internal temperature of 165 degrees Fahrenheit. I just eat them raw. If the machine is burning or smoking during cooking, press the stop button to end the cycle. It just said if it burns, it's okay. Now it's telling you if it's burning, shut her down. I guess that's for the initial power on. You got to burn that chemicals off of there. Oh, it popped. It popped up. It kind of burnt the edges of the bun. I feel like they kind of plumped up a little bit there. That's cold. I still cold in the middle. Maybe I should have done a four. Let's put that in there a little longer. It's pretty good though. But the hot dog is a little bit cold in the center. Okay, that hot dog is sizzling. Can you see it in there? That hot dog is sizzling. Stop. It does burn the bun a little bit on the edges. That hot dog is definitely cooked. You see that thing? That is perfect. Look, it even split it open from plumping. Mmm. That's good. A four seems to be pretty good. I think I love this hot dog cooker. 
that tastes way better than a microwave. That hot dog tastes like it came off a grill. This is a really cool device. It's got a retro look. It cooks two hot dogs at once. It's great for a quick snack. I think I'm gonna give this product a thumbs up. I really like it. This might be something I actually use. Woo. All right, guys, thanks for watching this episode of Unbox Warehouse. If you want to see more, click one of these videos right here. And don't forget to subscribe and hit that little bell icon down there so you can see what we open next, right here on Unbox Warehouse.